what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection failed or connection error you're currently having with gary smart so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know let you guys know that, that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit, and I'm gonna really, really be thankful for it. For that. So uh, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to take your keyboard and type or click at the same time the Windows key and the R key. So type in and click that. Once you clicked it, you should be able to see this little uh, tab popping up. And once this pops up, I want you to click or type in CMD and hit enter. Once you hit enter, uh, you should be able to see this little tab. And what I want you to do is going to be to type in what I'm going to type in. So IP config space. Oh, I'm sorry. Slash flush DNS and hit enter. So once it is successfully flushed, you should be able to end this task again. And the next step is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen opening up your settings, navigating right onto network and internet, and navigating down to network and sharing center. Well, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto the second link where it says change adapter settings. Once you're here, you should be able to click or either internet or ethernet. It just depends on what you're currently using. So right click that, disable. Once it is disabled, I want you to enable it again by just right clicking and clicking onto enable. The enabling process could take quite a few moments, so just wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to end this task and return back to your sharing center. Once you're back, I want you to click on the blueprinted text where it says again, either internet or ethernet. Click on that. Properties. Double click the internet protocol version 4. And enable use the following DNS server addresses on a top. So on a preferred DNS server, I want you to type in your Google DNS server address or 4 times 8 and at the bottom, so alternate DNS server 2 times 4 and 2 times 8. Once you did that, I want you to click OK and apply. That's it for the video. I hope that it could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.